Welcome to North Carolina 4-H Spark and Lee County 4-H at Home. I'm Pam Curley and I'm glad to have you join me at home. Today's program comes from a North Carolina elementary curriculum called What's Bugging You? We share our environment with many plants and animals and the environment provides basic needs for plants and animals to grow and develop. Living things need food, air, space, water, and shelter. What might live in a garden? Yes, maybe ladybugs, that's a good answer. Ants, beetles, did anyone say worms? What might live in your kitchen? Yeah, ick, roaches. This time of year could be ants, mice. Those are all good answers. What about you? Do you live in your kitchen? Think about places where animals live in your yard. I've seen animals here in my flower bed. I've seen animals here in my horse pasture. I've seen animals here in my garden. I've seen animals here in the edge of the woods and in the woods. Where have you seen animals in your yard? Not only your pets and family members, Many people, when they think of animals, they think of mammals. Birds, such as robins and squirrels, maybe your pet dogs and cats, and of course the horses that are in the pasture. But most animals are smaller and more abundant. We share the world with a great diversity and abundance of life. In a moment, you will choose three different spots in your yard like the spots I showed you in my yard, and you will think of three different food sources that you can use as bait. Cookies, piece of cereal, a chip, a, a pretzel, a cracker, maybe a goldfish, a raisin, an M&M, a piece of candy. Any of, things, any of those things might work. On an index sized card piece of paper, ask an adult to help you write the name of the place in the yard and the item of food or bait that you want to place on that index card. Since I use the word bait, you might have a hint as to what we were going to do next. You will put that paper with the bait choice on top of it. And you'll notice in my videos, I had to use a rock to hold the paper down because it was a windy day. You will leave it for 15 or more minutes. One of mine took 30 minutes. What do you expect will be attracted to your bait in that area? While you are waiting on time to pass, let's go on a scavenger hunt. First, let's go find five different types of leaves that you can find in your yard. That is a red bud leaf, maple leaves, buttercup leaves, clover leaves, and holly leaves. Now go and find two different types of tree bark patterns. That is the unique bark of a river birch tree, and that is an oak tree. Now look around your yard and see if you can find three different types of birds. That is a bluebird sitting on the wire. That is a mockingbird flying away. Those are crows above the trees. Can you find any natural shapes in your yard? Maybe a triangle? or a circle, a square, or a rectangle? How about a quadrilateral or a multi-sided shape? 
Now I would like you to go and find something that you think is interesting. After some time has passed, we need to check on our bait stations. How many kinds of animals can you name that live around you? Are they mammals, birds, insects? Do you think animals other than the ones you found on your bait stations live around you too? Where do you think they were during your experiment? Why do we find certain insects in particular environments? What do the environments provide for growth of these living things? How can you pay attention to animals you share your world with? In addition to your space, what else do you share with these animals? No matter what kind of plant or animal we might be, we all need things to stay alive. Food, air, water, space, and shelter. We humans often provide these necessary things for other living beings. What do you think our insects eat in nature? It's not cookies and cereal. What do they drink? Where do they live? What do living things need to survive? What are examples of how the environment provides these resources? And how do humans provide those needs for many living things. So, I learned a lot putting together this insect video for you all. Um, one thing is I have a whole lot of fire ants in my yard that need treatment. Birds are especially, especially hard to photograph. I am not a good bird watcher. I have a lot of birds in the yard that make a lot of noise that I can't see. Um, ants were attracted to all the baits at all my stations. My cat likes goldfish. There's a bluebird living in my bluebird house and she scared me when I went to take that picture. And I really hope that you all had a good time with this project. And uh, thank you for joining me here in Lee County. Have a great afternoon.